Our main effort these days has been producing trophy for the Abrams tank. Together with Raphael and Elta, uh, with hundreds of systems and thousands of countermeasure rounds on contract, we haven't missed a single delivery in this COVID environment, which is frankly pretty incredible. Uh, deployment of the system was actually tested during the recent Defender Europe 2020 exercises, and we received pretty positive feedback from the field on the system's performance. But in the meantime, we're continuing to support the customer as he looks to expand Trophy's relevance to future versions of Abrams, as well as other U.S. Army platforms. You know, the Defender 2020 exercise uh, was really an exercise for the Army to trial the deployment, installation, and then some level of maneuver with the Trophy systems that are in the field right now. Uh, it's no secret that demonstrating Trophy's impact in an operational setting uh, was a key objective of that exercise. And while we certainly don't speak for the customer, all indications we've received so far are that Trophy acquitted itself very well uh, and even opened a few people's eyes. At the same time we've been delivering Trophy for Abrams, we've been hard at work upgrading, lightweighting, and expanding Trophy's relevance to other platforms as well in the fleet, such as existing Striker, uh, as well as the future optionally manned fighting vehicle or the OMFB. Together with our Israeli partners, we've successfully reduced the weight of the system by about 40%, and that's without impacting the system's performance against threats. This is a huge step in making sure that lighter weight platforms like Striker or the Mobile Protective Firepower, or even the Marines' new platforms can accommodate such a vehicle protection system. In addition, we're expanding Trophy into a more holistic protection capability through the addition of multi-spectral sensors for better threat detection, so-called soft kill capability against seeker-based threats, and some other technologies that we can't really talk about in this forum. But the Army's made protection for platforms its number one priority uh, for future vehicle programs and our team is investing and doing everything we can right now to ensure the best protection technology is ready when it's needed.